Okay, so we have SC alert, and it's pretty simple. So let me type that one up, SC underscore alert, and we have our brackets as per usual. And of course, within our SC alert, we have some parameters that we can add. And here we have, first of all, our message. Okay, and next up, we then also have, well, the possibility of an array. So let me place that in there as well. Look at that. So maybe a little more complex than some of them, and at the same time, maybe not. And of course, as you see, I'm using this once again within the blank application, because of course, the macroscope supports the blank application, the chart application, the grid application, search form control menu, as well as the tree menu. Okay, so it is also available or functional, should I say, within various events such as the on execute, which I'm using right now, on app in it, on footer, on header, on script in it, on navigate, on focus, on click, on change, on record, on insert, on update, delete, and yes, so many of them. You can, of course, you can, of course, always jump to the script case help documentation and check out here the SC macro. And here we have it, SC alert message and array. And our array consists of, of course, many further parameters, values, and we have here the description for each of these also available. So within that, we have a title, type, timer, show confirm button, a position, and so forth. So there's quite a few options here. And as you can also see, there is also the option for a sweet alert instead of the standard alerts because there is a difference between the two and of course we can just check this one out so if I just copy this one here look and then I'm going to place that here into my application in fact let me just leave that there look and I'll paste that there and if I go ahead and run this now well it's going to pop up with and a nice little alert message. Well, this is an alert message, hooray. Okay, awesome. And just like that, we can send alerts to our end users. Okay, so let's also grab here our sweet alert and check out the difference between the two. Because yes, there is a difference because this here is our basic alert, or standard, should I say. Okay, which is really nice already. And then we also have here our sweet alert, which, well, there is quite a bit of a difference because there we have all of these parameters and options that we can place in here. See, the array here is not mandatory as we see here in the alert. And with the array, it becomes then, of course, the sweet alert. Okay, so let's go ahead and run that. And now we will see a completely different alert. Look at that. Now we have these little toast pop-ups that come up, or sweet alerts, should I call them? They're kind of like toast pop-ups from Mac, and you know, they're cool, aren't they? And they're really nice, and of course, with that, we can change here the positioning from top to bottom, uh, to center, or wherever else. Now, the show confirmation button really depends in the sweet alert itself. It does not actually provide any functionality, so always, check out the documentation because here we have the positionings we can define top top start top end center center bottom center end and move that around and for the show confirm button it is important that we have here true selected or indicated there okay well the show confirmation button well it's meant to be working here according to this but it doesn't seem like it is but we do have a timer there we can specify a timer for this macro of course at some point this should be working and if anything i would think it's maybe the 
you know, closing button. Let's check that out again, shall we? Okay, so no, there's no closing button there. So there's no button there. So I, yeah, I don't see the purpose of, yeah, why, why is that there? Okay, so we have then also the type. And in this case, well, it's a success message. Now we can also change that to a warning. And that will straight away change the, you know, visibility or the type of button. See, now it's an orange. See, it also changes the icon there, which is cool. Okay, so we can also place an error in here, for instance, when there is an error. Error, and that would of course change that again we have the title there that we can adjust and of course just like that we have a different animation different icons and of course as I said we can actually change here the positioning so let me change that here to top and increase here also the timer and change here the title to error which is what it is and then let's actually also change the message here whoops you made a mistake Okay, and run that. And then just like that, we have, you know, very quickly and simply made some awesome little adjustments to our notifications and error systems and everything else, you know, alerts for our you know, alerts for our users because it is always important to let our users know what is happening, what has occurred, if there has been an error or well, whatever else is really happening, right? Because sometimes they'll click on that button and wonder, did that work? So, and of course, with these sweet alerts, you can process and display an alert so it's complete. Thank you very much for watching. And just like that, this video is also complete. This macro is complete. And with that, I hope you have enjoyed this macro. And of course, use it within your own applications within Scriptcase. And did I mention how awesome Scriptcase really is? Yeah, yeah. Well, if you're not seeing that with these macros, then well, you need to try Scriptcase yourself. So be sure to check out the website. And of course, Hit me up if you have any questions or doubts on Scriptcase or the macros in the comments. Go ahead, go ahead, comment, let me know. Did you like this video? Did you not? How are you using this macro? Whatever it is. What macro do you want to see next? I'm sorry, there's no choice there because the macros are all predefined, but okay. So I guess that's it then because I'm already rambling. So thank you very much for watching and until the next macro video.